Hey, what's up guys? I'm Frank Torian. And Jinx here. And a welcome to Frostpunk on the PS4 Pro. Alright guys, so we played this game last year when it came out on PC. I think that was last year, right? I think so. Yeah, last spring or something like that. And uh, yeah, we played it all the way to the end. And everybody thought that we weren't going to make it. But things were going to be terrible. All our people were going to die. I didn't think we were going to make it. I said it every episode. Every we're episode. Gonna die. Yeah. We're going to fail miserably. And it actually ended up not being that bad for us. Uh, we made it all the way to the end. Our colony survived the big, you know, freezing cold moment, you know, at the end. I don't remember how cold it gets, but it's pretty damn cold. And we didn't even lose that many people. We actually did a really good job. Because we ran a tight fucking ship. We did. And that's the other thing is that we also, there's two different routes you can go. You can kind of go like an authoritarian type of route where you, you know, uh, just make people do what the fuck you tell them to do and and uh, don't really care so much about hope. And, and I think eventually you don't even have to worry about hope. Uh, it's either hope or discontent. Yeah, mm. because there's public execution. Yeah, you don't even have to worry about it anymore. And we went that <laughs> route. We went the authoritarian route, guys. And uh, that is supposed to be the more easier route. Uh, so this time, we're going to go the other direction. We're going to be good guys. We're going to be good guys. We're going to go with the try and create a very hopeful colony here. And we'll see if it's any more difficult. Um, I haven't played the game since we played that PC uh, series. So I'm definitely not an expert at the game. It's been a long time since I played it. I did a little quick uh, run through just because obviously we're playing on PS4 now. So we are playing with the uh, the PS4 controller. I want to kind of get familiar with the controls. And uh, so far they're pretty well done. Uh, well, I guess we'll continue talking about that as we play. But let's go ahead and hop in, guys. Uh, we're going to be doing a the new home. Obviously we don't have any other scenarios open up right now. And... I don't know what survivor mode is. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna do a start here. I don't know. Yeah, I think we'll just say start. This is on the regular. Like, isn't it all survival mode? Yeah, maybe you could change it to, hmm, I guess I could have clicked on it and saw, saw what options there were. Creative, just create your <laughs> own icy dystopia. So, it's a pretty fun game, guys. I enjoyed it quite a bit. We had a fun, fun series with it, uh, but it's a challenging, very challenging it's game. It's gonna guys. be difficult for me to not want to crack the whip. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> it was a lot easier going that authoritarian route. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. We bid farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. All 
Alright, new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy is hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful, is a, a handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen and, uh, frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive in the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. We have to we survive, have Jinx. To survive. All right, so he's just gonna throw us. Like shit, we ain't gotta do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's pause this here, and it's got a little tutorial here that kind of walks you through it or whatever. But for the most part, it doesn't. It doesn't really hold your hand, guys. This game. No, it's just like there you go. Good luck. Mhm. Mm good luck. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're gonna want to go ahead and start assigning our workers. Uh, we'll get them. We we always have a problem with wood. We learned that in the last series. Guys, we're gonna make a lot of the same mistakes we probably made last time because I don't remember that series that well. <laughs> so I'm gonna try. I remember some of the stuff like with the roads and like putting like certain buildings out kind of far away or whatever. I remember some stuff. Uh, but but for the most part, probably gonna make similar mistakes, guys. So just expect that. Uh, let's go ahead and get you know obviously we want a lot of workers into the coal and. Let's see, what else can we get here? Do we have any more wood? I really want to gather up the wood a lot. That we'll get, one? No, this is steel. steel. Yeah, we'll get a little bit of steel. We'll put the engineers into that. And we're just looking for more wood. Here we go. We got some wood crates here. All right, so let's I get... I don't remember the mechanics of this game at all. Not at all? <laughs> <laughs> things I don't remember shit. Gather the things, make the people do the things. Mm-hmm. And everyone just still dies. All right, so that's all the citizens we have, because I think it's there's 10 citizens. Uh, that are kids, if I'm not mistaken. There's what? some way to see uh, up there at the top, but I don't remember how. There we go, it's square. Uh, yeah, it's 10, ch or 15 children, excuse me. Okay. Put them children to work. Can't, Jinx. Can't put them to work. We have these, are, to. these are engineers that aren't doing anything. Alright, so we might want to go ahead and get them working then. Just for right now. Oh, we'll put them yeah. out there. Good guys don't make kids work. Do yeah, they? we're a good guy. Jinx is already trying to be a bad guy. <laughs> it's not a bad guy. It's a matter of survival. She can't help herself, guys. All right. You got so... legs. You're putting them to work. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a short amount of time before the night comes, and our people don't like to work at nighttime. Because it's fucking cold. I mean, it's like... It's a survival situation, but they will only work... What do they work, like 10 hours a day? I think it's 10, is it? Yeah, Eight maybe. to five, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's not much, guys. Oh, we can go ahead and start that generator. Not as much as it should be. Considering, yeah. All right, so let's get the generator started, and there we go. The generator is now working, providing a little bit of power for everybody. Uh, let's go ahead and start building some shit, uh, so our people will hopefully have some tents to sleep in tonight. Uh, so let's get those started. We'll give them a couple tents here, and then. I am going to go ahead and plan out where we're going to have certain things. Uh, for instance, we know that we want the hunters On out kind of far away. Yeah, because yeah, remember that was one thing we learned last ep uh, last series, is that the hunters only go out at night. And so they're not, during the coldest time, they're not even in the city. And during the day, they're at their houses sleeping. So there's no reason to have the hunter tents close by. Uh, and those just take up a lot of space, so... Let's go and get the, uh, the road going out to where we're going to have the hunter tent. Uh, just looking at locations here, where we're going to want to build stuff. And what's that? Uh, oh, I don't remember what that is. Is that the way how you exit? I yeah. think so. Maybe. Yeah, that would make sense. We might want a road out to that. Well, not right now. It costs uh, oh, that's right. wood to make roads, so we don't want to waste any. All right, so there's nothing on this side. For the most part, I mean, there's the woods there. Um, but what we'll do is we'll do it out here. I think it's like, we need a, let me see. Let's put the, the house in here first, guys. Maximize space, that does seem pretty important in this game. Who would've yeah, thunk? Yeah, cause it can get out of control. Yeah, it gets- gets wonky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's a challenging game, guys. Although I don't remember all of this being in the version that we played on the PC. All of what? Like the, the grid and the layout like this. I think it was, um, again, I'm not, I could be misremembering because it's it's been a while, guys. Seems very helpful. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll get that uh, road going out, and uh, that's where we're going to put the worker hut. 
I guess we can... Well, we already have the houses built. We probably shouldn't have everybody working out there, now that I'm thinking about it. That's ah, fine. They can build it when they get back in. <laughs> it's the first day. Yeah, we'll be all right. Uh, we do want to get them food. So let's then take care of that now. Because nobody's going to have any meals. Got to a soup kitchen. Yeah, we'll get a soup kitchen going here, guys. And we will place it. Well, let's just see here. We already have the road going. Uh, right there, I think. Yeah, let's build it right here. And then we can go ahead and get some of those engineers working, if we even have any more. Oh, it's still under construction. I'm just trying to make them go. Yeah. <laughs> cook food in this fucking go ramshackle. Faster. <laughs> you can so, cook food in a ramshackle. One of the things that I always liked about... Okay, yeah, we don't look at any of this. That I always liked about the... Whenever we cover these games that are, you know, more based on PC and uh, you don't see uh, come to console very often, these style of games, is that we typically... Oh, yes, I forgot about this. Let's go ahead and do this first. But let me finish what I was saying. Uh, usually you can zoom in uh, a lot closer, and I find myself playing more zoomed in. We always talk about this, whether mm -hmm. it's, you know, the city building games or, like, uh, Jurassic World or uh, um, Stellaris or whatever it is. I find myself uh, zooming in a little bit more on the console than I typically do on the PC. However, that's not the case with this game because you actually can't zoom in that far. I was a little bit surprised by that. Yeah, that's one thing that I was noticing as well. It seems very, you know, distant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we can zoom it's in a little bit. I'll show people. you guys how far we can zoom in. Uh, let's see what we want to do, uh, what we want to take care of first. I suppose we can do the cemetery first, or we can do the emergency shift so we can get everybody working. Yeah, we might want to do that while our discontent is low. And then maybe we can have them spend the first day, like... Or maybe the second day, working extra shifts. Just so they can, uh... Need that kind of leader. Well, it's we need to... Like, I'm the new management. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be 24 working 24 hours. hour shit. Mm-hmm. So that'll raise discontent a little bit, but we're in a good, we're in a good uh, position right now. I hope these right shifts are only used for real emergencies. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what she said? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Isn't this all totally an, emergency? an emergency? You guys aren't super pissed off yet. All right. So this, they'll now start building. Uh, that's what they do during the free time, as they build. Uh, so now that they're actually out there building, we can go ahead and get some of this stuff going, uh, like. For instance, we want to get the medical post going. We're going to build that. We'll just build it right next to the food place. Oh, well. It needs uh, to be warm. Do you want... I guess you don't want your sick people next to the food. Oh, that's the food place right yeah. there. Here's the stockpiles. Yeah, we'll put it right there. And then uh, let's just put from here on out around the the uh, the generator. Uh, we're only going to have houses. Kind of a little bit thrown off with the format for the building. Uh, it's... A little bit different. And I don't know how many houses we have right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think we'll have enough for everybody, but that's okay. We might have ten unemployed. I did the math right. Lazy bunch. Or not unemployed, but uh, <laughs> uh, you know, homeless. Ten homeless people. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Gonna be some homeless people, Jinx. All They're right. already sick. Uh, yeah, probably because they're homeless, I would assume. Uh, so what we want to do is go ahead and get some engineers in here. Uh, we need to pull the engineers off of wherever we assign them to. So they can start working there. Uh, so we have five engineers working on the steel. We're going to pull those. Just put regular workers there once we get a chance. I hate that it doesn't show you like where people are working if you have the full 15. Mm -hmm. It throws me off, man. Because then I don't know where the hell I can pull workers from. It only shows you the numbers on here. Yeah. If you don't have a... Pull the engineers from here. If you don't have a fool. All right. So let's go ahead and sign engineers to the medical post to take care of those people. Though I don't know if we need five. Your engineers are just educated people or skilled I'll take 100% efficiency. Yeah. Yep. And then we're going to have them cooking the food too. For right now. All right, so we won't get any food on this first day, guys. We just didn't get it done. Uh, I guess we can try and get this road done so that I can have that set up for next time. Because uh, we're going to set it up out here somewhere. Everyone's going to starve. And uh, we 
should be able to build it right there, I think. This is what we'll do, we'll go in a little bit more. Make sure. All right, there we go. That's where we're gonna build a, the worker hut. So we need to get that going. Uh, and then we're also going to need, what else we need here that we have wood for that they can build while we're not doing anything. Uh, so yeah, we got the hunter's hut that we're getting ready for. Uh, gathering posts would be good to get for all these gathers, but I want the workshop first. Let's take care of that. And we'll just place that out. Oh, let's see here, I guess. Doesn't need to be real close. We can put it right there. Oh, it's not adjacent to the street. Now, it will let us build it right there on the edge, but we'll just go ahead and take care of this now because we already know we're going to need to, guys. Go ahead and get... Oh, yeah, and you do have the different building sizes. Mm-hmm, sure. which kind of throws it off a little bit. Yeah. Yep. All right, so we're going to get those streets built, and then we'll build that there, guys. As soon as I get that constructed. Did they get it done? I can't even tell. It looks like it's done. Or, nope, nope. They didn't finish it. <laughs> What are they working on? Uh, a road right here. Oh. Getting this road built so that I can build one, uh, another house here for those homeless people. I feel bad for them, Jinks. All right, so they're going back out to work. No, no, this is still free time. Another day, another shift. We need to see when they start work, Jinx. I'm curious. I think it's eight. It might be nine, though. They sleep in. Mm-hmm. Lazy fuckers. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put the uh, workshop right there. I go to work at nine. <laughs> <laughs> and I work the night shift, so. Uh, and then we're gonna want one more tent, guys. And place it right next to the workshop, I suppose. Alright, and we are we're out of wood, out but of we're wood. able to build just what we wanted to build. The only thing we weren't able to get is the uh, hunter's. Little hunter's lodge, or whatever they call it. Sunshine. Alright. Worker's gone back out. Get us some goddamn wood. And once we get enough wood for that, I think we need 10. We'll go ahead and get that going. They uh, said 20. Each other up. It's a hunter's hut. Yeah, you always got that guy. He's going to police everybody up, you Move know? Move along. Mm hmm. So the first thing I want to get here, and I'm tempted to get the heat and things. We're going to have some cold problems soon. Uh, the beacon allows us to go out and send scouts, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's something you want to get kind of early. People. But I always have problems with the wood, man. You run out of that wood really mm -hmm. early, and then if you don't have the sawmill already, then you're screwed. Uh, so I kind of think we should get the, the sawmill first, guys, because uh, I, I feel like we might not run out of wood early on here, but I don't know. I just think we should get that first, guys. Uh, we can also sign a new law. Uh, what do you want to get? So we got the emergency shifts. Maybe we'll have them do that today. We should probably get the corp removal or just... Oh, well, corpse from yeah, we gotta do the cemetery, <laughs> Jinx, because we're doing the hopeful. Yeah. I think we did the cemetery last time, though, didn't we? Because isn't the corpse removal like? Isn't, I don't really remember. Just dump them in a snow pit. It'll be fine. <laughs> we'll do the cemetery, guys, and then we'll go ahead and get that constructed. Uh, wherever it is, I don't actually know. Is it in here? People. Here we go. And so this doesn't need to be warm. So that's one thing that we can place out here. Well, that's um, good. Yeah. We'll You're going to put it, it right next to the hunter's <laughs> We'll place it right here. We'll place it right there since we already like have. Just a reminder on your way out to go look for food. Mm -hmm. If you don't find any, this, this is, is where, where the fuck everybody's going to be at. Yep. I think that's actually probably a good place to do it. Oh, shit. We need to get 20. Or people will start bringing home questionable meat. <laughs> Uh, we don't have engineers uh, here. That's right, so nobody's actually researching anything. Uh, let's go ahead and pull engineers from... I think we have some here cooking the food right now. Uh, so we'll just put workers there. So we have engineers here. So we need to find somewhere to pull workers from, Jinx. Uh, we've got... Uh, I guess we got enough on the coal pile. So let's get these placed so they can keep on cooking that food. All right, awesome. So, I don't think they'll build this. I might need to actually assign some workers to this. Although there might actually be, it says six workers yeah, are assigned here. Yeah, I think here. they're going to work on it. All right. They're just slow, it's cold. Mm-hmm. 
ones are. <laughs> Alright, so we got two sick people, Jinx. Two sick people, sick people in our... Uh, where's our little health area? I'm trying to click on it. Jake. There we go, the medical post. Alright, so yeah, we already have some sick people. I'm not trying, I'm trying to see who the, who's actually in here. It's sick. These are the five workers. Where's the sick people? Here we go, the patients. Alright, they got about 11 hours recovery. Uh, the cemetery's established. Hope Gave rises. us some hope. So, uh, that's where all our dead people go. Felt we, should, felt we should get that early. Because, uh, I assume people do die. We're gonna have some dead people. Did we already get the uh the thing? The salt mill? Mm, I don't know. Oh, okay. We weren't even doing that. My bad guys. Well that sucks. Alright, with basic resources secure for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind, build a beacon, scout Frostland, save as many survivals from our expedition as possible. Alright. We'll have to get that beacon. Uh but we're not gonna do that yet. First things first. Yeah, I want to take care of the wood issue. Uh, we do also want to go ahead and get some some people assigned to go out looking for food as well. So let's see if we can't pull from somewhere. Uh, wood's starting to look all right. I guess we can pull from the wood. Yeah, but that's what I, I don't like. I can't see like where these workers are assigned uh, without clicking on something. Uh, I guess we'll pull from... We have a lot of coal. Let's pull from the coal pile. Thought we had already pulled from the coal pile, or was that well, the we're, other one? Well, we're pulling more from the coal pile. Yeah, I think we pulled all out of this coal pile over here somewhere. And oh, yeah. yeah, and then we had the wood crates there. And yeah, let's go ahead and pull from this wood crates the engineers that are here. Although I don't think engineers can become. No, I can't. All right, so we'll have to switch this up. A lot of overqualified. A lot of worker management. The, the engineers just refuse to go. Hunting apparently. <laughs> it's beneath me. Mm-hmm. All right. So they actually work till six. I think it's eight to six. It'd be like a ten-hour day. I, mean, I guess that's decent. Yeah. <laughs> it just feels like they should do twelve hours, man. Considering the circumstances. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, but everybody has a. A home? Is there anything we can have them building during this free time that we need? I don't actually know. I guess we'll take a look. I guess we can get the gathering post going. For all these beautiful resources. Uh, so we have these ones here that they can collect. Let's mm -hmm. take a look. Yeah, there's this one here. Yeah, I think we'll want to do the gathering post. We gotta build a road Yeah, but I don't there. know what any of these are, though. Alright, wood crates, steel wreckage, and wood crates. Wood crates, wood crates, and steel wreckage. Okay. I guess we'll just build it out here then. Because we have a lot of workers there. Do you have to build a street, a uh, road out there? Oh, you do. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of a pain in the ass. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, but we got to do it because we we're got to. we going to have to gather these resources up. All right, so that's a, a bummer. We're going to have to do that though. So let's go and get it taken care of. I got to have a goddamn road. I, guess we'll I mean, they're trampling out. the snow all up. This way here. And then... So? Yeah, it's in <laughs> wood. That's pretty cheap for a road. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Alright, so we'll get that built so that we can have... Have a gathering post out there, guys. What is going on there? Oh, I don't know what that is. Take a look. We got an event. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. We'll do what we can, miss. We'll do what we can. Uh, we don't have that research yet, though, so we ain't doing shit. <laughs> you didn't tell her that, did you? No. <laughs> it's but only yeah. been two days, right? Get right on that. Be yeah, I. <laughs> oh, look at the uh. The ice. Yeah, beautiful man. Beautiful. It'll be the death of us, but at least it's nice to look at. All right, so we can introduce a new law. So let's go ahead and do that now, guys. And I think we should do these uh, ceremonial funerals uh, because you get you lose less hope when people die. Oh, and okay. People and are it's halved. People That's are gonna die. Yeah. Organ transplants. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so at uh, 2100, that's 9 o'clock, 9 p.m., 
for those of you who don't know military time, is uh, when we're going to have those ceremonies. Who has time for fancy burials? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, can't let up now. Let's get to work, guys. Alright, so everybody's getting their fancy food. Fancy attitude, Bernice. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to hear. Good, positive attitude. Alright, so we have the roads as well, which I completely forgot about getting uh, the gathering post out here for these guys. And we'll place it right... I'll just place a little right there along the road for right now. Alright, and uh, get that building. And we might even just go ahead and... Well, they've already got ten workers assigned to that. And then, yeah, we'll just take all the workers out of this here and put them into the gathering post there. I'll keep them warm when they work, because we're about to have a cold period, I think, aren't we? Oh, are we? Yeah, look it up there on the... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's approaching. It'll be today, actually, and the oh, wood crates no. are actually depleted, too. Does it say how much it's going to drop to? Is that the wood crates where I just built the gathering post? Yes, it is. <laughs> That's great. Alright, so let's go ahead and assign all those workers here uh, so they can start gathering up the steel and the wood there. And what'd you say, Jinx? I said, does it tell you how far down it's going to drop in temperature? Uh, I think so. I think it's just like one little notch right now. So I think that's like negative 30 something, negative 40 something degrees Fahrenheit is my guess. I don't actually mm -hmm. know though. Uh, I don't remember. I did play up the day four before and I, I think, I don't think I had the, 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 the temperature drop though. So let's get the rest of these workers assigned. Uh, we'll put them into wood and anything else that we really need. I guess we can put another one into coal. I hate that they trample all the snow. You don't like that, Jinx? Bugs you? Just walk in the same goddamn line that all your friends do. <laughs> Jinx likes an organization of her snow trampled No, I just really like fresh snow. It is beautiful, but I imagine these people can't stand <laughs> snow, Jinx. They love it. Though, yeah, I don't know why you would trample through some new snow. Yeah. Get your britches all wet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get your dick all cold. When you could just walk... Along a path already the previously already made. trampled trail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so all of our people are working except for... Oh, we got five workers actually sitting here not doing nothing. Uh, I think it's because we can actually pull from the workers here as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and just pause this for a second. And let's get those workers building out to another... God, I hate that we got to spend so much on the wood on the roads, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to get out here to like where we're gonna do the gathering post. I almost don't think it's worth doing the gathering post. In fact, yeah, you know what we're gonna go ahead and prep for? Let's prep to to do our our thing that gets the wood. Um, that picks up the the trees. Mm -hmm. So where do we want to put that? Probably right. Where do we have our most of our trees? Right here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna want to put it right there. And then since we already have a road going out that way, let's we'll go ahead and put it this way. We can connect it. Later, I suppose. Alright, or I guess we could always do it now. And... I think it's right here. And then we need that baby to connect, man. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so we'll get those streets built with those extra workers that aren't doing nothing. And then we can go ahead and build the sawmill. And let's go ahead and get something else researching. Probably going to get the beacon. Yeah. So we can go out. That's a big part of the game, sending your scouts out. We need more people to work. Mm hmm. Yeah, we could really use more people as well. You get like bonus resources and stuff. Mm hmm. So where's the sawmill at? Is that here? Yeah, it looks like that's here. Oh, okay, I see. All right, so we want to get the sawmill gone. Then we won't be able to get it until we finish the road here. And I think the sawmill is the one that does uh, turns frozen trees into usable material. Yes. All right, so that'll pick these ones up. We'll have to get those roads built first. And then we'll be able to get it. But yeah, I don't think we'll have the sawmill operational today. Oh no, they're hustling, uh, man. They're hustling, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna be quick enough, Jinx. All right, so let's go ahead and get the sawmill going so that we no longer have any wood troubles. Uh, though, if we built right there, that would result. Man, they can't build very, or pick up very far, can no. they? Like you need that like in the middle. Yeah, that's kind of, of a bummer. The trees. All right, okay. so build that one road out a little further. Well, remember you can't place it on here; it destroys the resources that are there. 
I think you just have to like build it and then destroy it. I think we we'll just have to build it right here, Jinx. And I could always build like right here and it might be able to get a little bit more, but it's not that much mm -hmm. more. We'll just build it here, guys. And we'll just have to destroy it. All right, so we'll get that constructed so they'll be able to get us some wood tomorrow. And yeah, cookhouse, there's no reason I think to have anybody in there if we don't have any actual food for them to cook. We need to change what we're cooking. I don't think we can yet. I think we actually have to research oh, that. You're talking really? about giving them soup? Yeah. Yeah, I think we have to research that. Or I think that's a law, in fact. And uh, the temperature change is coming, Jinx. Yeah, so it's going to drop. It's a bit chilly. Very soon here. If we're going to start getting cold. We only got one sick person, though. That's, that's good. good. The other yeah. two got better. Yeah, apparently so. Our uh, hunters are going out as well. Good luck. And what is that up there? Area effects. What's this? Oh, okay. Got it. So let's go and get those workers assigned here so they'll start working tomorrow. Although we don't have many. That's fine. Uh, well, we could do this. We could pull from the wood crates here and have them work here instead and produce more wood. All right, there we go. So we shouldn't have wood troubles now. And yeah, we'll have to start getting roads all the way around here. Get all that kind of good stuff. Maybe I'll do that now while they're not doing anything. Get to work, motherfuckers. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know yet, the content is not appropriate for children, guys. Yeah. I'll put that out there. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's just get roads going all the way around here. Uh, it doesn't look like that worked though, so let's build yeah, it to there. Yeah, do it like a quarter. Yeah, and then we'll thing. have to do it like here, and then if it's not already here, uh, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> there we go. Well, at least we already had roads there. Yeah, well, build more roads. Board, build roads on Double top of the roads. roads. God damn it! All right, so for bums to live under. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where are our bums gonna live? Although we don't have any bums, Jinx. We are True. a homeless free society, no, man. No one's bums. Mm -mm. Everyone's working. All right, so. Yeah, this is as close as you can zoom in. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, I thought you could zoom in closer on the PC. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm misremembering. I did, I, you know what, now that I think about it, yeah. I might have wanted to be able to zoom in further on the PC as well. All right, so yeah, it's kind of a like we I said, got it's not no food. It's not quite like other games uh, that we played that have come to console and then you get nice and close. You can't click on the people though. Yeah, we could do that. We can see how Matilda's feeling. She has no big concern. She's going to eat right now. It's fine. She works at the medical post. She has no family. She's alone in this world. That's just sad. That is sad. And there we go, guys. A cold just hit us. So it's and dropping. The discontent and stuff. Yep, it's dropped down to negative forty. Everybody's kind of irritated because it's cold as fuck. The hunters brought in food. Uh, I guess we can get some engineers cooking it then. All right. So yeah, we got a little bit of food from our engineers. Negative forty degrees. Mm -hmm. Those workers that are working way out here are gonna get sick as shit, probably. Yeah, they are. <laughs> we should probably build them something. I don't know. We don't have the heaters yet. Not the heaters, oh. I mean the the gathering post. I think this provides a little bit of heat. I could be wrong though. I want to say that it does provide maybe a little bit of heat, maybe not. Uh, there is like this heat index now that doesn't mm -hmm. provide any heat. Yeah, I think you gotta have the heaters. Mm -hmm. In the workplaces? Yeah. yeah. I think it just, it just makes them more efficient than the gathering post does. All right, well, that's what it is. Everybody's just gonna be cold, guys. It's a cold fucking world, man. Mm-hmm. Cold world. It's getting cold here. Oh, yeah, man. The temperature just changed, like, rapidly. Uh, like, usually that's some random day in October where that shit just starts getting cold. Uh, but, yeah, it happened, like, late September. It yeah. just started getting really cold. Got all gloomy and cold. Yeah. And like, oh, shit. Yeah, we live in Colorado, if you guys are wondering. I know some of you guys are thinking, like, oh, shit, that's cold ass place it's really not though guys i come from back east from northeast in, uh, of america and frankly it's just not very cold here man compared to, to the northeast uh not even close and there's snow it just it melts really quick yeah it'll like snow and you think it's gonna be all thick all day but mm -hmm. then the sun will come out and it's all gone yep 
It's actually really nice because it's you get to look at the snow and be like, oh, that's pretty, but not necessarily have to deal with it mm -hmm. and all the pains that it brings for long term. So there's the heaters, Jinx. Yeah, we need to get those. So yeah, we could get those, but will we have the coal to run them, I think is the question. Maybe we should do the faster gathering. So they'll gather from the coal piles, wood crates, and all that kind of good stuff quicker. Like mush. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should do that so that we don't have any problems. I was Let's, gonna ask why we don't have any dogs, but I, I get it. <laughs> we've eaten those a long time yeah. ago, Jinx. Ain't no dogs. That's where our fur coats came from. Uh -huh. The puppies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I did pull all the workers from here, guys. Um, I think I did, or I should have pulled them all. I meant to pull them all. Yeah. Uh, nope, we didn't. We we're really gonna let him finish cooking that last meal, I guess. It takes five engineers to, to cook, cook a one steak. meal. Yep. So coal piles depleted. All right, hold up. Which oh, which coal pile is that? Let's take a look. Uh, we still have the ones here. So we'll just assign the workers that left there, and they can work on that coal pile. All right, it's getting things done, guys. Uh, the beacon will be researched here. They also taught us about generator overdrive. We won't look at that. That's just press triangle and here when you're in the generator, and then it produces a bit more energy heat. or a bit more heat. Yeah, uh, but saps all your resources. Uh, well, it does require more resources, I think. But I think the main problem is remember you have the like the stability of it or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah you gotta yeah. worry about exploding, and killing everybody. Yeah, yep. And then I think you lose. Oh no! That mild frostbite. A citizen became gravely ill, Jinx. Oh no! Let's take a look. One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. And this will keep happening if people have to work in such cold. Must do something. Then mild frostbite. How is that gravely ill? Uh, frostbite's <laughs> pretty serious. Yeah, I got it in my toes. My yeah, when you're toes. in the army, right? Yeah. Yeah, we were in the the army. I, I did my uh, basic training in the hot ass fucking summer. Jinx did hers in, in the, the middle winter. of the winter. Yeah. Why are these engineers not cooking this, man? This is ridiculous. We did a field problem, and I think with the wind chill, it was like negative 20 degrees. And yeah, it was not fun. Cold as fuck. At all. I had a really difficult time, like, lighting fires. Luckily, the ladies came to save the day. We had <laughs> tampons, and we were like, we're going to use this as kindling. Does that work? <laughs> yeah, it did. All the dudes were like, can we please have some tampons? <laughs> like, yes, you may. That's great. <laughs> All right, so let's... What do we need, man? I guess we need... I guess we're all right on coal. Get the steel here. Yeah, I spent my fair amount of time out in the woods in the army in the middle of the fucking winter. Sucks ass. Mm -hmm. We get better gear though once you're in the regular army than yeah. Than in the, the little basic trainees, AI tiers. We get the bear suit. Want a bear suit? Mm-hmm. Pretty comfy. Uh, so we are almost able to enact a law, and then we might want to figure out what we want to do with these gravely ill people. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Well, I mean, if they're gravely ill. Well, remember, you can do the amputations. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the radical treatment. Uh, the gravely ill will be treated in medical posts. Uh, so 30% of the gravely ill treated in medical posts will be left as amputees. And the amputees are useless until you pass later laws that, you know, makes them work oh, or whatever. No, oh, that's right. You give them robot. Arms. Yeah, you give them robot arms. I remember now. So with this one, we can say that it will keep them alive, but they'll remain untreated. So they remain a burden. Mm. I don't know, man. I mean, they're a burden either way. Might as well have at least the hope that someday they'll get a robot arm. And so be able radical to treatment. Yeah, I don't think that this is like this. A lot of these choices here aren't really like the the good or bad route. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of them are, but there's a whole new tree. And there's going to be for you guys aren't familiar with this game. Uh, there's a choice later in the game, and that's when you choose which route you're going to go. So it's not really pertaining to these ones. Though we are going to try and be better people. But what we mean uh, by saying we're going the good route is we're going to go with that other tree. So The kind tree. Yeah. So let's do the radical treatment because I don't really feel like this is the bad one. I mean. I don't either. Like, mm. shit. A lot of people don't like it, though. Oh, Got well. some discontent with that. I just hope they won't cut my leg off. At least we'll be saving lives, For real? said Hattie. Like, do you want to die or do you want to mm -hmm. keep your leg? We got faster, faster research. I would rather die, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, I guess the You'd rather die than have your <laughs> leg cut off. That's terrible. Uh, do you think we should get more food or the coal thumper? I mean, we have a lot of coal. Yeah. Still available out there. Yeah, we definitely don't want to run out of that. Uh, there's also the heat stuff. Getting heaters and, and all that kind of good stuff. I think the heaters would be good. Do you think we should get the heaters before getting the coal thumper? Oh, true. Because the heaters take the coal, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they take a bit of coal. We could kind of run right through our coal supplies with the heaters. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, what are the options over here? Yeah, and then there's the food, which I think would be useful as well. All right, what we'll do is let's go and get the, the coal thumpers first. So yeah, we'll get those first. And I mean, we're, we're doing all right on coal. We have a good supply of it. Maybe we should have got the heaters. I don't know. And I wouldn't rather die than have my leg am Because that's a terrible But I mean, like, this is like going to be like Civil War kind of amputations. Mm -hmm. Like, just a saw that's... We don't have... Yeah, you're not putting yeah, me to sleep. No. Maybe have like, a little here, sip of whiskey. Have a swig of whiskey and bite on this belt here. Mm-hmm. Here we go. <laughs> I'm totally trained. I know what I'm doing. I don't know. I I don't want to lose my leg either, especially not in a situation like this. But like, I would still in the lumber mill. I would still rather lose my leg than than die. But I mean, you could die losing your leg. True. <laughs> but I mean, like, yeah. it's a chance a chance that you get to survive, Jinx. That little message is going to be up there until I say see more or dismiss it, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, so workers should be going out, or the, excuse me, the uh, the hunters, and we are in desperate need of food, guys. Yeah. We have just about ran out. Damn, yeah, we're going to run out of food tonight. Stop eating all the food. God damn it. We it's have five people warmer. that are sick, too. That's not going to help with the food situation. We should probably get, like, another hunter's hut, but, man, we already got 15 workers on it, man. Maybe I should have went with the food one. Yeah. Yeah, probably should have, guys. Food seems important. I didn't realize we were so short. I thought we were doing better, man. These people were just grubbing well, out. we were doing better, and the night came, and everyone stuffed their faces. Apparently so, yeah. All right, well. Let me done about it. Let's see what the worker, the hunters bring back. Like, go to work. Jeez. Can you pull the hunters out? Stop eating all the food. During the day? And get them come on. I don't know if you can do that. If you can game it that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, man, they, I know you were out hunting all night, but still, you need to go to work. They didn't bring home much food, Jinx. Oh, no. Nope. All right. Well, that's not good. Let's go ahead and take... Oh, we need some steel. No, we have steel right there. Let's go ahead and take these guys, these engineers, and get them cooking that food. All right. Yeah, we got 16 food to be cooked. I don't know how much each each uh, meals, how many meals each of those provide. I guess we could maybe look at, take a look here. Yeah, I should tell you. Uh, four food rations for two raw food. So that's 32 food up there, plus the four that we have for thir 36 total. Mm. Yeah, that's not, that's not great. Can you do like emergency shifts here? Nah, you can't. Not with the hunters at. All right, that's unfortunate. All right, so we should be getting the beacon finished up today, so we'll be able to send our people out on a task. Are we building the beacon? No, we're researching it right now. I I thought we oh, already oh, got the we already got it. We need to build it. You're right, Jinx. Shit. I thought we were researching it. My bad. We should have already done this. Completely neglecting this shit. Did we get anything else that I'm neglecting? Probably. I only saw the beacon. All right, so where's the beacon go? Can it go anywhere? Oh, it looks like it can go anywhere. Yeah. All right, so you'd probably want it out kind of far away then, right? Is there any reason to build it up close? No. Allows us to send scouts to search the wilderness for goods and survivors and bring them to the city. Lookouts will also spot incoming groups of people. Yeah, I don't think you need it close, close by. I assume we could probably just build it out yeah, far away and be fine. There. Yeah, where we don't have to worry so much about the heat here. Yeah, we'll just put it right here, I guess. Yeah, because I don't think it'd be worth it. I don't know. You might actually assign scouts there now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know if they sit in it the whole time. I don't really remember yeah, how it works. Fine. It's been too long, guys. I know, right? All right, so the Galdarian Post now has no more resources to work on. So let's go ahead and I guess we could just dismantle it. So let's get that dismantled, and then we're going to want to build a new one to gather resources 
over here. This will be steel and wood. Or we could have them gather. Oh, I didn't realize we we're still going here. Yeah, or we could have them gather the coal over here. Uh, let's do this one here, guys. All right, so we need good old fashioned roads uh, going out here. And. We're doing pretty good on wood. Yeah, we're doing all right. That's not bad. I wonder if we'd be able to get all these locations. Let's just take a look. In fact, guys. I think one of them will be just out of reach. Maybe. Yeah, it's a possibility. Where is the gathering post? I'm still trying to get myself familiar with all this, guys. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. That's a shame. We can only do two. Just trying to make it work, guys. I have just in it. I guess we could build from here. Um, yeah, I guess that's not going to be far enough, is it? Nope. There we go, guys. And then have this connect here. And then we'll place... Oh, man, I, I don't know how... It's kind of hard to do because I don't know... Like how big everything's going to be? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so let's get those uh, those built. We're still being a hell of a lot more organized than we were in our first playthrough. I don't know. I felt like we are we did a decent job at organization last time. In fact, I almost feel like we did better in general because I was, like, taking it really, really serious. Mm-hmm. Because I was really concerned uh, that we weren't going we to survive. Uh, so the care house. The grave of ill and amputees will be cared for at a low cost in special homes. So that's one option, Jinx. Uh, extra and rations for the ill. They food, don't they? Do they? Residents of care houses eat half as much. Yeah, they do. So that would be useful. And it raises hope. Mm-hmm. So there's that option. We can deal with the child labor situation. So put them in shelters if we wanted to, which gives keep hope. Keep them warm. Mm-hmm. Uh, keep keeps them out, them out of trouble. trouble. <laughs> or you can have them doing, like, safe jobs. So they'll work, but then they can get injured doing so. Uh, we got the extended shifts, the fighting arena to help, uh... So that reduced discontent. Yeah. We do the soup here, which oh, people don't like, but would save us food. Saw, saw no, food. that's the food additives. You can do the food additives, and that causes health problems. What? No. And let's do the soup, guys. It's We're having natural. food problems. <laughs> it's unfortunate that we are in that situation. Yeah, motherfucker's gonna have to eat some soup. Be working all hard and shit. Mm -hmm. Gotta go eat soup. Mm -hmm. That's just, we that's know just sad, guys. We know about that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we want a coal thumper. Uh, do you place it... Do you place it here? Uh, I, you I don't really know. Like coal resources. Does it have to... Does, is it used for those? It might be. I thought it was... Hold up. By pumping... Pressurized water and underground coal deposits. The coal thumper washes the pressure resources of the service, forming a pile of up to 560 coal per standard workday. Enough for two gathering posts. So, Maybe not. So it doesn't go on this one? That's a different one? Yeah. Okay, that's... I see. I guess we'll put it, like, right here, and then we can do, like, a gathering post just for coal. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that, guys. Let's get the street building out there first, though. If I can. I don't is know there we'll like health problems uh, if you build houses next to those? I don't know. Is there? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't recall. <laughs> All right, so we've got that researched. And, oh, yes. That's right. Oh, that's the gathering pose. You're still dismantling that? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to take a bit of time. Yeah. Well, they don't really dismantle during the day because uh, you only have so many workers mm -hmm. uh, to oh, kind of take care true. of stuff during the day. To do it in their free time. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're not researching anything either. Let's get that fixed, guys. We should probably deal with the get the hundred hunting Ooh. gear, guys. Yep, we've got shitty food situation here. Uh, let's go and pull the engineers out of here. And oh yes, we could go ahead and start having to make soup too. Yeah, we'll have to make soup. And that gives Sorry, five guys. food rations per two food. It's not much more, guys. All right, so we're back in a free time. So they'll dismantle this building for us and hopefully get that road constructed for us as well. And also this road here so that we can get the gathering post set up here. It'll be soon. So for the next day, when the temperature goes up, 
should be ready with all of our new things. All right, so let's get, oh, it's in resources, isn't it? Let's get the gathering post here, and damn it, I didn't build it far enough. <laughs> uh, we can build it right there, I guess. I think that blocks, yeah, the, blocks road, the road, though. I mean, we're gonna dismantle it anyway, but might as well do it the right way, guys. Might as well. Uh, so we're gonna want it, I guess just going out a bit more? Yeah, that's what I would do. Just so that we make sure that we can get those resources. Do we have enough homes for everyone? Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's all all around the center here. The only people that aren't at center is uh these five here, Constance, James, Martin, Lester, and Edith. They don't get to live next to the generator. Which I think is means they don't get much heat. Oh yeah, they're cold. Mm-hmm. Everybody else is just chilly. They're cold. Alright, we got the beacon. Fantastic. in the sky. Mm -hmm. well, this allows us to send scouts out. I'm glad that we got this done before the end of the episode, but man, I wish we had gotten it sooner. I'd, I had completely forgot we had already researched it. So that was my bad, guys. We should have already had this. And this could have helped us get some more people. Uh, so, let's see. We've got the Lost Expedition, which I think is the one everybody's going to want us to do, and we got a crash site. We can take a look here. Uh, several wrecked vehicles, no signs of life. They're probably our machines. Let's hope so. We had to leave a number of supplies in them, so... Get some supplies there, uh, and then of course we have the Lost Expedition, and we want to do this one so we can get the extra people. So, I don't think we can do it yet because we don't have any anybody assigned to scouts, right? Yeah, we need to create a new scout team. Oh, okay. All right, so now we have a scout team, and so I think we can now send them. There we go. Scouts number one sent to the Lost Expedition. It takes them some time to get there. Yep. Takes them a while. 10 hours and 49 minutes. Mm-hmm. But I think, yeah, they even go at night, though. Yeah. So there's that. It's a hell of a trek. Uh, the cookhouse, it doesn't... We don't have any food. Wow. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, fuck? we've got, like, people that are... People are going to start starving and shit, man. <laughs> well, the workers are going oh, out... Or, yeah. excuse me, the hunters are going out. Apparently, I didn't have enough hunting lodges. Uh, but, man, you you only have so many people to yeah, do anything. Yeah, people to do everything, so. Uh, I mean, I guess we got all this other stuff, though. Maybe we should prioritize food a little bit more. Uh, so let's get the gathering post. Uh, no, this is not the gathering post here. The gathering post is supposed to go here. And right there, I guess, will work. This game is like that, though. It, it just seems like the whole time you're playing it, you are constantly short of something that you desperately need. <laughs> and constantly regretting mm -hmm. your choices as well. Like, oh, I probably should have got something like, else. People are gonna die. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you can rotate the building? No, you could do that. Yeah, me either. All right. Well, we want it back here because we're gonna build the gathering post right there, I suppose. Uh, let's just see here. Because I want them to collect all this coal here as well. Uh, while they're here. I guess we can always put it back some. Yeah, the problem is that you just don't know, like, how much space each house takes. So you end up in a weird situation out here. Mm-hmm. Um, the far reaches. All right, well, we're gonna build it right there, and then let's go ahead and get the road going out a bit further, so we can build the gathering post along it. All right, so hopefully tomorrow we should have a good supply of coal going. All right, so let's speed this baby up, and we'll see what the workers do when it comes to food. Because yeah, we are yeah completely out of food. Oh, we got an no, event over everyone here. Everyone is. Ready to search. People cheers the giant observation balloons. Okay. Needed a win, god damn it. Yeah, you can see people just getting sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have nine sick people at this point. They're not feeling so yeah, well. Yeah, a lot of people getting sick, guys. It's uh unfortunate, but It's like it's been one day. <laughs> Without <chill> food, out. <laughs> man. <laughs> like but they're we also eaten in three hours. They're also working though, We're to dying. be fair, Jinx. It's not like they're just sitting around. Not doing anything. Some of them are. All right, so what we want to do is we want to pull the workers from here and then put them into the gathering post. Uh, oh, it's under construction. Yeah, psh, of <laughs> course. Uh, well, we can get this thing going, though. We actually need to gather up this first. All right, so 
I suppose we'll put five into it. And, and then, then they still have good attitudes for now. For now, I think we need another hunter's hut, though, man. Hell yeah. We yeah, do we not are, have enough food. Yeah, we are doing terrible on the food situation. We want to sign them till tonight, though. Yeah, I think we should wait. Did the hunters not bring any food home today? I'm not sure. We do have people working. Are though, they right? still out there? Yeah, we got 15. Maybe they haven't oh, come back okay. yet. I don't know, man. All right, well, it's warming up. Yeah, it's warming up, so at least we don't have to deal with people getting sick from that, but... Yeah, man. Where the fuck the hunters go? Oh, we need people here. Yeah, where did the food go for the day? Yeah, it sure seems like they didn't bring anything home. Maybe that's them there. Or no, they're probably going to yeah, build that. To oh, build. there we go. Oh. We got 15 food. That's it, guys. All right, so let's get them cooking the soup here, the engineers. It's always worrisome when your hunters are late. <laughs> mm hmm All right, so they should be able to cook that fairly quick. Get some meals going. Everybody can eat. I think the reason why we had that one extra food and they weren't producing it is because you need two food oh, to, okay. to cook something. Yeah. I think someone would have found some way to eat it. The raw food? Yeah. All right, so we have five minutes in game time, and there we go. We have our scouts have completed their expedition. How do you... Do you have to click on the beacon Even to go out? Noon. I'm trying to figure out if there's a button to just go out. Oh, okay, you just got to keep zooming out. Oh, okay. Got it. All right, that makes sense. All right, so they've now reached the Lost Expedition. Let's explore it. Yeah, read it first. We enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We had been wandering for days until we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we'd begin to starve. Children and adults surround us, packed and ready to go. All right, so we're going to escort them. Oh, we don't actually have to escort them. We could just send them back to the city, but they could die if we yeah. did that. What do you think, Jinx? Should we escort them? I mean, it's not far. Yeah, it's not far. They'll be alright. Let's just send them back to the city so the scouts can move along to something else. So we have the, the gloomy cave, the sturdy shelter, and those are in the directions that we're already at. So let's. Which one do you think is more likely sturdy to have food? Sturdy shelter. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with the sturdy shelter. I mean, I like gloomy caves and all, but. I just, I'm not sure. I might find some shrooms or something in or there. A bear. <laughs> so, like a coat. The people are coming back. Uh, it's a good thing because we can put them to work, but the bad thing is that's more mouse to feed as well. Yeah. All right, we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see when they get here how many survive. <laughs> we may lose a few. May lose a few people, guys. Oh, we don't have anybody in the gathering up, my bad, guys. The children never grow up, do they? I don't think so. This they is like over a period of like a... Well, I mean, it's like a period of like a year sure. or something like that. Or not even that. It's, it's months or whatever. So, yeah, I don't think that'd make a whole lot of sense. He's like, hurry up and grow, children. Let's grow the fuck up, God damn it! All right, where can we pull workers from, man? I yeah. got the sawmill. I mean, we're doing... Everything is important. Yeah. Just trying to look for somewhere we can pull some workers from. There's not really any, unfortunately. Yeah, because we need to assign some to the the hunter's lodge for tonight. And then also you put in somewhere here would be nice as well. You know, these guys got to pick this coal up, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take them out of here. We probably shouldn't have got the coal thumper until we actually ran out of coal. Coal to just pick. Yeah, that was my bad. Probably shouldn't have done that way. I should have concentrated more on food. And uh, maybe gotten one of those heat techs as well. Oh, and we've got uh, a book of law. I always forget to do these guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and do one now. Um, what do you want to do? At the care house? We can always do the fighting arena to I was thinking maybe deal with care discontent. House, since it'll half their food. Yeah. And I guess we do have a bunch of sick ass people. Mm -hmm. All right, sure. All right, so we'll need to build that though. Just going to get that going. I'm just gonna dip through here and see if there's anything that I've again neglected, guys, since I seem to be very good at that. Uh, we got the medical post, there's the care house. Uh, we got the, all those going. Nothing here. 
And I think this is going to be the last thing that we do for the episode as well. Yep. And just get this care house building. Up to 20 gravely ill. Uh, gravely ill and amputees are cared for here. Uh, we should probably get another medical post too because we got so many damn sick, sick people. And they're not all being cared for. I guess we don't have the workers for that though, huh? Yeah, not really. Nope. All right. Well, where's the medical uh, area? We kind of can put these next to each other, I suppose. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah I think that. Ten. I think you're right. Put it right here. Sure. Although, we will better get a road going up that way, though. I suppose it's fine. All right. So we'll get that built, and yeah, that's gonna be the end of the episode, guys. Uh, and we got the. Well, now we gotta research something. I kept that paused. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess we'll go ahead and research something real quick, guys. Let's take a look at what we want. So we got all this done, except for the steel works. Steel is not a problem until a little bit later. I think we should probably get the heat and stuff. Heaters, Maybe get yeah. the steam hub first, and then the heaters. Yeah, I think that would be Yeah, good. let's get that, guys. We'll get the steam hub, then we'll get the heaters. Steam hubs are like little baby generators that mm -hmm. warm up parts of your little village. Although... Hmm. You know what? We should probably should get the heaters first. Most people are at work. Can I cancel this, or are we stuck with it? Oh, yeah. Abort. 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 Yeah, let's go with the heaters first, now that I think about it. Most people are at work anyway, uh, and they can just uh, get the heat there. Yeah, I think that'd be better for right now. You can turn those on and off as you need them. I think you can turn the heaters on and off too, can't you? Well, that's what I'm saying, the heaters, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of this first episode. A lot of mistakes. If you didn't, if you didn't recognize them, there were there were a lot, but it's looking okay, guys. Um, obviously, the, the food situation is really really bad. We'll try and get that improved with our workers hut. We're getting a lot more people coming as well, so we'll assign them to the workers hut as well, or to the hunters hut, excuse me. Uh, and as far as our quest, uh, we're about yeah, that's the only one that we have right now is the people from our convoy, and then the care house, which we've got going. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the first episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. Now, if you're looking at any content to watch in between episodes, because we would put we will be putting about one episode out per day, with the exception of Mondays. Uh, well, this Monday we will be putting out a video, uh, since this series is just starting. But we usually don't put videos out on Monday, since I work all day on Sunday. Uh, but other than that, it's going to be a video every day. And if you're looking for something to watch in between the episodes, then go check out the front page of our channel, where you'll find... Uh, we have like 2,000 something videos. They're all sorted by genre, so you should be able to find something that you enjoy to watch. Uh, if you're looking for any links, check in the description of any of our videos. You'll find links to our social media, our Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff, as well as our PayPal and Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. you also find a link to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. Uh, so that's going to be it for this one. We'll see you in episode two, and thanks for watching, guys.